So, okay, so we're at a new situation now where Jeff pointed out, hey, we didn't even get a partial, like a full trunk on this one, but this vine's three years old. What I'll probably do here is there's one of two things you can do. You can leave two shoots for now and see which one does better, because if you take it down to one and that one breaks, you, you're out of luck, right? So I would probably go with two, and I think this one coming from down here is very strong, so I'm going to leave that, and then I'm going to pick one up here on this strong wood here that looks good. Okay, and take off everything else. Okay, so what I've done is I've effectively left two shoots. Now, I would love for this one to become a very long, strong shoot because I'd like to take out that smaller wood. I know this is going to end up being bigger by the end of the season than the wood that we chose this year. Um, once we get to the point where this shoot is all the way up here, okay, and growing up into the canopy, we can remove that second shoot at that point just by pruning it out. And then we can take this chute and train it all the way to the top wire. The tendrils will grab. And when can we cut it? There's two rules for cutting it. Remember, the first one was you don't cut that green growing chute until it's the thickness that you want it to be as a trunk because it won't really grow in circumference much once you cut it. If you cut it right here when it's thin, okay, it'll stay thin and it'll push laterals from thin wood. And the laterals will be bigger than the wood that they're coming from, than the chute that they're coming from. So if you let it grow past here, you chop it right here at the wire. Typically, there are some lateral shoots growing right below the wire that will grow out. OK, so the first rule is don't cut it until you've got it as thick as you want it, like pinky size right there. OK, the second rule is don't do that in August or September because it's so late in season, you're not going to get your laterals to grow at that point. So do it. Try and get, get up there early. If you need to fertilize to get that shoot up there earlier, then that's what you do. And when you cut it here, the laterals will start forming and you could tie those down with one tie quickly on either side, just keep them in place. And if we can get there by, let's say, 1st of July, maybe, that means we have all of July and August to try and grow out that, that um, lateral. The last thing you want to make sure you check is that the laterals themselves that are growing from that shoot have actively growing shoot tips. Okay. And we don't have a lateral out here to show right now because the, the shoots are so young. But typically from every node position, come in here, you can see that, see that little leaf coming out there from the base? I'll bring it in closer so you guys can see that. That's going to form a shoot and that will be called the lateral shoot. So that's going to grow up here and onto the wire from a position up here. 